I can't eat, but I'll eat the shit out of that cake. Why is there poop in your cake? She's got a big old dookie booty. I gotta find my dookie booty. She's got a big old... Faggiest clap ever. Gotta cut that out, because somebody's getting offended tonight. Oh, also gay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that shit in. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hasey. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Holy macaroni. Talk about cutting it close. So just got this yesterday in the mail. Now, Steam Crave. Steam Crave, oddly enough, when they first jumped off, really never sent me anything. Like, I just would never see product from them. Then I purchased a couple of them because people wanted to see the reviews of them. I think this is before they really started getting into the really, really big, juicy RTAs. But that's what they're known for, right? The Aroma Miser, the Titan, the Titan Box Mod. Now, I've done a review on the original Titan, which was V1, which is the one that I have here. And they, they also did it on the Hadron, I think, with the backpack, but I never got the backpack. I ordered it, and they just sent me another mod, not Steam Grave, another company. But there was, a, there was a couple flaws that I didn't like with this, aside from it being a four-battery mod, Paraseries, which is two batteries in parallel, and the other two, which would make those parallels into series. Apparently, you could not run this in a parallel, but the new one you can, the 1.5. But I did this, and one of the things that I highlighted was this little gem, and it, I don't think that they changed it. Keep in mind that this is brand new in contact, never has been opened. But, and then they made... The Aromamizer V2, which I never did the V1, but I did the V1 of the Titan. And when you're looking at the names of these, they will jostle you about. Like, for instance, I saw this. I said, ooh, Aromamizer Titan V2. I did that. No. I did the Aromamizer Plus V2, which is this little jammy. And one is like a 30. The other one's a 41 millimeter. And 41 millimeters, oddly enough, there's not a whole lot of mods that can really support that large of an RDTA or RDA. Also, I think I'm going to change this up a little bit. Because this is, just like the original Titan, this is the V2 version, instead of me using it in RDTA mode, which I've done already, I'm actually going to venture out there, be a little bit fucking crazy, and probably put this in mesh version and as the RDA. Because even when I did the reviews on any of their products, I've never done the RDA version. Plus, I'm kind of learning how to do mesh. I figure, why not? I'm getting somewhat a little bit better than when I was shit. So it just makes sense. And the, the version 1.5, the, the mod now, oh my God, so many different versions. You could just rename shit and just call it a new thing. But in their defense, it does make sense to carry on the original name. Uh, I'm just going to show you the differences between them. All I see is just the pictures that are different. I haven't seen any of the products, without further ado. Let me bring this down, put a build in it. Hopefully the gaming mesh, otherwise I have to find it or I'm going to have to use a regular deck. So without further ado, let's flip it. All right, so what you're looking at is a Titan Advanced Combo by Steam Crave. You can see that the tank and the mom on the front of the box on the side. It says Titan PWM. Sorry, I'm not getting to focus on that. PWM mod version 1.5. Again, I did do the version 1. Then you have the Titan V2 RDTA Titan Dual Mesh Deck. Now, they did send me this, I think, for the Aromamizer Plus, but I didn't end up doing a review because it's hard for me just to do a review of a deck by itself. Well, I mean, it's not hard, but I just didn't do it. Black, silver, gunmetal. Again, sorry for being out of focus. Then on the back side of the box, you do have a scratch and sniff. This is going to taste and smell exactly like grape rubber. Keep out of reach of children and minors. And then there are some of your ECID numbers. Totally sealed up. Let's open it up. Let's begin. Okay, so we open that up. Very, very nice display. Very red. Holy, I do like that color. Uh, wow, wow, wow. What a kit. 
Very good presentation. I have to give that to China. They've been doing lots of things lately. So we'll just take out the RDTA first. It is black, which I could get down with. I'll grab by the 510 so I don't put any fingerprints on it. It does look like you get three different versions of glass. You get the uh, small short barrel with a silica gel packet. Make sure you don't eat that if you want to survive. I think that's what that is down there. Nope, that's paperwork. And then you get uh, another glass and then another glass. These two look exactly the same inside here in this peripheral. I, I got to see what's on the bottom there. Let's grab the mod out as well. Wow, even the bottom of this box just looks so nice. What is that? Okay. And then inside here is more stuff. Holy sugar tits. Oh girl got those big old nipples. Yeah, that's just that's just glass there, right? So again, we are going to be using this in the RDA version with mesh, which I'm hoping is inside of here. Close that up. Let's take a look at the uh, the paperwork that they send us. Get a little sticker, says Steam Crave. Spare gasket for battery door. Huh. And that's the gasket. That looks like a piece of plastic, but all in the same, I guess. Usually gaskets are rubber. Then you get a user manual for said such. Titan V2, 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 V2. V2, I do believe that this is a 20 and 32 millimeter, respectively. I have went over the whole series deck. Again, hopefully we get the mesh configuration right here. Not included in the regular, but if you get the advanced combo, the one that I have, this is the one that you get. Look at that cotton. Tell me that doesn't look like a good old peacock chest. What in the shit is that? Oh, that's a that's a bag. Yo, I thought that was a deck, and that was the wicking. I'm like, I don't know who wicks like that, but I am so interested. Got, got it. That, Wow. You know, there's a point where you feel stupider, and yes, that is a word. Yeah, you're always stupid. Yeah, and you could suck my ass. Okay, and then you get a little warning piece of paper here. Operation instruction. Yeah, we're going over the manual. You know, that's right. Power on and off, adjustable voltage. Let's see what they say about using this in parallel. Nothing about parallel configuration. I can swear to God I read this somewhere. Do not attempt to purchase and use. Well, it's a little bit too late because you already purchased it because you're reading the manual. So <laughs> there we go. So inside you get these little coils. Tricore fuse Clapton NI-80. Would we'll not be able to use that. You get your little triple tree. A whole bag of gaskets and O-rings. And then the Aromamizer Titan Dual Series Mesh Deck Kit. Very interested. Let's do it. Open this up. That is a cool presentation. Wow. I could get down with that. That was cool as shit. So we get the deck. We're going to use that. I guess this is your airflow configuration. That is super badass. And then you get your little mesh strips. See if they give me canthal or if it's all going to be stainless steel. So we have stainless steel. Well, let's go back to that so you can read that. 0.15. Canthal square. Also 0.15, like that. And what's this guy? That's just some more screws. Another user manual of sorts. Cotton lace mesh. That's a big-ass aglet. Looks like they belong in some DC shoes or Adidas. That looks like a forming tool for the mesh. I never really used these, but let's see if I can. All right, so before we get into the RDTA, let's take a look at the mod. That looks like a flower or a rim without the tire on it. So comparing this to the original, there's your original, right? So you have your V1 right here, and then your V1.5. You can tell that it is a little bit taller. That's odd that they went that way, and your fire button... I mean, you would think that this is jagged and sharp. It's, it's really not that bad. But I do feel like if you put this in your pocket, that's going to catch on the lip and just rip the shit out of it. On the other side, there we go. This side, you see we have these now cutouts. Same type of venting on the top. Not really needed. And then there's your screen. You can see the size difference. It is a little bit taller, 5'10", just this kind of isolated versus this is a whole disc. Looks like you could fit the same amount 
Yeah, the diameter of the coil that you could fit. Well, if you're fitting a coil on there, hello. I love them. Do you? Yeah, the diameter of the tank that you're going to put on there is absolutely massive. But take a look at this. So if your screens are here, right? Screens are on the left. Fire buttons on the left. Look at the bottom. They're reversed. Now, this is one thing that I talked about on the original is I hate this because I have to put my finger in and pull away. So you could do this either or, right? So you could do it like that or the other way. But you cannot do it like this because there is a groove cut out for that lip like that. And then inside there is your polarity. Make sure you put it in that way, positive, positive, negative, negative. And then right there, that is also different because on the original, this was all metal. But there's a gasket. And I don't know why you would need the gasket for. You should have a good enough shape. Machining is really well done. No dings, dents, burst, burst, cowboy boots, no scratches on the screen. That does have a screen protector on it. Yes, it does. Looks good. I mean, those grooves feel a lot better than that square one, but it is a little bit taller. I'm very interested on to why they went with a taller version. So we're going to take the four batteries out of this sweet number. That was a Lassimo V4, so we're going to do positive. A little bit of movement. That is a good thing, though. You don't want it to be super tight. And then there you go. Adjusting the voltage shows the parallel battery configuration. One, two, three. Volts locked. One, two, three. Now, if you want to lock, once you're adjusting this and you want to lock the volts, bringing it up to all the way 8.4, kind of one, two, three, one, two, three. You know what this looks like now that I'm looking at this? Janet Jackson's nipple ring from the Super Bowl commercial. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to plug that without showing the actual nipple. I guess I'm just not going to. And that's kind of all that you have is that one, two, three, four, five. Goodbye. One, two, three, four, five. Steam Crave. Sweet. All right. Good. So now we take a look at this sweet jammy. So looking at the drip tip, that is very, very different from the original. I'm hoping that is the original. Take that out. It looks to be an 810 configuration. Yep. Uh, not bad on the machining of that. It's just a drip tip. That is a little bit funky, and I cannot wipe that off. So it does look like someone was eating some type of chocolate cake. Touch that while they were putting it on. That's disgusting. and I have to clean that up. We're going to open this up a little bit. Juice ports, absolutely massive. Instead of two, you have four. And then unscrewing this on the bottom should give us access. Wow. That came apart very easy. It's odd that that did that because this has been sitting for a long time. And trying to unscrew this is, is it, it's just not a fun thing. It, it's just, nope, I'm not even going to bother. So we're just going to move on right there. We're going to have to take this whole thing apart, and then there's the deck. We're not going to use this, though. We're going to be using this jammy, and I believe that this goes on here in some type of way, like that. Okay, that is cool. That is super friggin' cool. Wow, I do like that. I am not a fan of mesh, but I did use a shit at Zeus X. So let's try to take the rest of this apart. We're going to make this into a dripper. Well, now that you can see some of that machining, wow. I don't know what those are. That's some really cool tooling marks. So that right there, this is how we're going to convert this into an RTA. Or RDA. There we go. So we're just going to kind of drip directly down the center. And then your top section. Yes. Holy macaroni. That is a massive RDA. All right, and then your airflow configuration, you still keep all that, right? I just lost this. And keep in mind that the insert, the adapter to bring this up into the bigger tank section is actually in the center of the section there. So we're just going to put the rest of this up so we don't lose any of that. Let's take a look at this deck. It should be simple enough, right? I see why people like mesh because they don't want to take the time out to build. So they're just going to put the strip in there. So... You see that? Is that a crack? No? 
That is a weird colored insulator though. And we do have a common ground as well. This is in fact a series mesh deck, meaning that you're gonna put two strips of coil. Now you could do this where you just use one. You would do here and here, don't do here and here. I mean, you could do whatever the hell you want. I'm just saying what, what I would do. But it's saying it is a 0.15. That's essentially going to go up to a 0.3 because we're using the common ground. And you'll see here, that is where your mesh is going to go. Right there. And right there. Simple enough. So you may only get two strips, though, which, well, I don't know if I like that idea. You should probably give me a little bit more than two. But I guess if you're going to order this, make sure you order more than just what comes inside of the box. See, now I broke some of that off right there. This is the problem that one may have with the mesh, a little tiny piece. Shouldn't mess up the resistance too much. I don't want to mess around with that too much because of, you know, say what, what you're supposed to do is use this, right? Kind of use that to form the roundness of it, then put it in. I mean, what I could do is put the stainless steel in, but I'd rather take my chances. Take my chances with that. We'll see what happens. We're going to give that a try. It's heating up evenly. I want it heating up a little quicker. I don't know if I want to try, risk the chance of taking this out, right? And taking off a little bit of this just to possibly ruin that strip and then we're only running one. But that's why we're having that little bit of less. I, I'm going to give this a whirl with what we have. Yep. Yep, absolutely. I'm going to. As long as we don't have any hot spots when we're heating it up, we'll be good to go. So now the wicking. Keep in mind that they do give you cotton, but just like all my other stuff, if I'm going to do a build, I'm using my cotton because I know where it came from. I'm just, it's always been that way. Sorry, I don't like to use, you know, other people's stuff. So what I have to do is I have to improvise here. I have to make this side a little bit fatter than over here because we have a little bit more wire over here. Or mesh, I should say. And because we are not using this in our team mode, which we could, it wouldn't be that difficult. You would have the same exact build. Like you would just need a lot more cotton over here to really suck all that in. The issue is obviously I was building this probably should put some cotton in there. The way that you have to do this is you have to build this by itself and then put it inside of the RDA. So you're gonna get juice all over your mod, like I did. And that is this big monstrosity Titan V1.5 mod with the Titan V2 on the top. Let's bring it back on top, spinning daisies. All right, back on top with the Titan Advanced combo set and you can tell really the difference of the height it, it didn't seem like much but you can really really gauge this is much taller yeah it's only four millimeters but when we're talking about something this fucking big trust me every millimeter counts you feel me you guys know what i'm talking about especially you white guys oh okay rda version didn't see me doing that so you saw what happened with the mesh right they didn't give me any more strips of course i could have used well, I don't know if I would have been able to use mesh from other RDAs because of how skinny that is. Why would they make it where you have to use two? And then if they're going to make it where you have to use two, why not give me an extra two on the top instead of just two stainless steel, two canthal? Why not four of each of those? I mean, it's going to cost how much? 20 cents more? Let's just say a dollar for whatever reason. Still should have done it. Just up the price of the cost of the product. Because what happened with me is what? 
one of those snapped off. Now, instead of me playing with the other one, I didn't want to risk the chance of having nothing, so I have something. Does it suck? Yes. Could I have improvised to use one? No, and I'll tell you why. Because if I would have just used one, Airflow would have got where the other mesh strip would have been and wouldn't work. What they could do is they could take both of those mesh strips and start doing it so you could run two, which you're supposed to. Why not make it where two mesh strips are all one piece, but they have four different ends to it? Makes sense, right? That, that would make more sense. And I should have used the tool to wrap it around. Whatever. That's a lack of experience. I told you I was bad. I told you I know what the fuck I was doing. So what is that picking up at? Point three. So you saw that that's picking up at the resistance of what they said. It's just not heating up accurately because of that little piece of metal I lost. It's all right. Here we go. We're going to use this all the way open RDA mode. Now, I've already done the original Titan. That's not going to change this versus the original gonna be the same shit right rda haven't tried here we go 41 millimeters 4.3 volts picking up at a 0.3 let's do it that's a lot of airflow no way not that much airflow we're gonna cut off a whole second line so now we're a third line now we're just running the two on the side all the way open there we go let's do it Still a lot of airflow. Wow, that's got good flare. Either I have to pump up the power or reduce the amount of air. Let's reduce the amount of airflow. Cut that in half. Wow. This mod is massive, though. I feel like you can throw this at somebody, grab it by this, and just hit somebody with it. Game over. Okay. A lot of flavor. Now, you saw with the mesh, I guess doing it the way I just said with the two mesh strips sounds like it makes sense, but the way that I did it here is in the center. You saw I stuffed it so it's fluffier in the center because when I drip down the center, it's going to go right on that cotton and get distributed. Now, the well of this is the actual disc on the bottom. The problem you have is building this deck like I did or any of the decks you have to build them without a base. I mean, you can put the base there, but it's just going to be loose. It has to get screwed on to the bottom of the actual RTA or RDA, depending on which configuration you're using, to, to secure it. So you're going to get juice on top of your mod. Is there anything they could have done? Not really. I mean, that, that's all of their products are like that. Yeah, I think all of them are like that. Yep, same same thing. That's the aroma miser, Jimmy. Well, how do I feel about the, the V2 versus the V1? Honestly, what's different? The size, right? Because one does, this does 20 and 32. I think the other one does 18 and 30 or 18 and 28. So you're able to make it larger. It does have a lot of shit and steam credit. There is such a huge amount of fan base for this company. I mean, I get it. It's I don't have any problems with the machining. Right? It, it, no dings, no dents looks good. It's just absolutely massive. I do like this, but I would never use it. It is way too fucking large. And the four batteries. Now, I read online or, or through the email that you could run this in a parallel. I don't want to mess nothing up because I don't see anything in any user manual. And I'm not going to watch people's review of this. So, but if you're going to run something this large, why not put four batteries in it? You know how much battery life you're going to get out of this? At 4 volts is what I'm using? Let's pump up that power. Unlock it. 1, 2, 3. Let's pump it up. Let's go to 4.7. Unlock it. Let's put some more juice. That is a big well, too. I can imagine how much juice you could probably put inside of this thing. What would have been a cooler idea is that center chamber kind of reduces it though so eh, i was going to say for that to be removed so you have more of an open area that's big enough as it is it's basically an 810 port i feel if i was using regular coils there'd have to be some big juicy coils this works well for mesh that's why like when you watch my profile and review i can't understand why you would make such a small tank with so much mesh this, the dual mesh, makes sense, but would be better if it was just one big-ass piece. But you wouldn't be able to do that fluff cotton in the center. If I had to rate this whole kit on a 0 to 10. I 
Okay, so the mod, I feel like I have to do these individually. The mod by itself, I'd give a 6 to a 6.5. I would go up to a 7.5 if they changed the door. I hate how the door works. I have to use a tool because I bite my fingernails and I'm not trying to cut my shit and my cuticles apart. I know I shouldn't have cuticles. Pull them back, Jay. Pull it back. That's what I've been saying to you uncircumcised fucks for a long time. Pull it back, expose it, clean it up. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the door. 6.5 is why I'm going to go. 6 to a 6.5. I do like these cutouts. Especially better than the original. Because like even holding that, it just works. It's where your fingers go. 6 to a 6.5. Would go to a 7 to a 7.5 if that battery door changed. To go higher than that, two battery instead of four. But would you be able to fit this big of an RDA on the top of it? Probably not. Also, something I want to point out is someone said they have mods that they can put 41s on, and they were all custom made. I was talking about mass produced shit like this or like this. I'd prefer this, though, over this. This is just like a mech mod. The RTA, RDTA, the V2 Titan. I feel like I'd have to build that. I feel like it's the black that's making me favor this over the stainless steel. There's not really much of a difference. It's just so big. Like, what do you what do you need 20 mils of juice in an RTA for? I guess if you're just like having a party. I, I can see where this would be useful. Like, you're having a party, you got a bunch of people over at Super Bowl or something, or you're watching the soccer games, or tennis or something, and it's real riveting, and you don't want to sit back and fill your juice up, so you just take a whole bottle you would buy and just dump it into the tank. You better pray to God you build that right. That's all I'm saying, because 30 mils of juice dripping off your shit, yep. I think it would be unfair for me to rate this low because there's there's nothing wrong with it. It's just your preference of vaping. I'm going to go 6.5. I don't know what you would change, though, to make it better. It is better than the original because of where the juice flow control is and how you adjust it on here versus the original one. On the original, you had to grab the bottom. On this, you got to grab the top. I'm searching. I'm looking. For the whole kit as a whole, 6.57. There's nothing really wrong with it. I thought that this shit was going to be sharp. I don't know what that is, though. It looks like a nipple ring. Like, it just goes around the whole nipple. Like a nipple disc. You know how they do that frisbee sport throwing? That's where they got that idea. And I've kept it real. Have you?